Good morning and thank you for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Nicole Brady and I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your top stories for Wednesday. The Denver Broncos have landed longtime Seattle Seahawks star Russell Wilson as their new quarterback. In one of the biggest deals in NFL history, the team traded three players, Drew Locke, Noah Fan, and Shelby Harris, as well as five draft picks, including two first rounders. But the 33-year-old Wilson is a nine-time Pro Bowl selection and led the Seahawks to their only Super Bowl win against the Broncos. DraftKings now has the Broncos tied with the 49ers for fifth highest odds to win the Super Bowl next season. Two people were hurt after a plane crashed on E-470 south of the Centennial Airport. Video from the scene shows the plane's engine on fire as crews tried to put it out. Authorities say two people inside were able to get out and were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The NTSB will investigate the cause of the crash. Late last night, we heard from the plane's previous owner who said it was sold less than a month ago. And the United States is blocking all Russian energy imports. President Biden made the announcement Tuesday saying the U.S. will ban Russian oil, natural gas and coal imports in response to the invasion of Ukraine. Experts say the ban will cause price increases at the gas pump, which we're already seeing across the front range. The average price for gas has jumped 50 cents a gallon in the last week alone. Here's Katie LaSalle with your Denver 7 Weather Action Day forecast. Well, this Wednesday we're waking up to mostly cloudy skies here in Denver, but all already picking up snow in portions of our northern mountains up from Fort Collins to the border, and it'll start to really filter in as we get into this afternoon. Mountain snow continues heavy at times today. Snow develops here across the metro area by midday, and boy, it is going to be a lot colder. Highs in the low 20s both today and tomorrow, and then we'll get down to some single digit lows. You can see that snow really moving in for the afternoon and evening commute for the I-25 corridor in eastern plains around two to five. Five inches can be expected to accumulate when all is said and done through Thursday morning.